Hey everyone, so welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'll answer one of the questions that most of you have asked me. So this question is, am I eligible for pursuing B.Tech in biotechnology if I have chosen biology, physics and chemistry in my 11th and 12th grade from India? Yes, it is absolutely possible to do so. However, I just want to mention something here is that if you have taken up uh, only biology, physics and chemistry, then it becomes a little bit hard uh, to to you know pursue a course in engineering uh, with even though it's it has a focus on biology so it could be branches like biotechnology or food processing engineering or it could be biomedical sciences well uh, the thing is that you need to know uh, this fact that if you choose an engineering course for the first year you will have to complete uh, two semesters of mathematics course and this is something which becomes a bit problematic so i had uh, three or four classmates uh, in my um, undergraduate studies so we were like around 70 people in the class uh, in one section, but we had three people who had this particular background. So they didn't take up math in their 11th and 12th grade. And when I spoke to them, I realized that they were feeling it a bit hard or uh, the math exams during engineering course was a bit hard for them because obviously in your 11th and 12th grade, you learn a lot of uh, things in mathematics that you didn't cover in your 10th grade and uh, I, I can completely understand this that it could be a bit hard to take up both biology and math along with physics chemistry for your um, 11th and 12th grade but it's from my personal experience that when I was in my 10th grade and I had to decide for myself if uh, what should I take up, I chose the option of uh, choosing biology, math, physics and chemistry. In my case, it, it was a different uh, scenario because I liked both biology and mathematics and I was still unable to decide if I should choose only biology or only mathematics. The other point was that I thought that it would be nice to take up both the courses because then I would have more options to decide for because that, at that point of time I was still not sure if I should take up uh, medical sciences or if I should uh, take up engineering courses even though um, I always felt more inclination for life sciences but still my love for mathematics was uh, also equal, almost equal. So what I'm going to tell you here is that if you're in your 10th grade and you have an inclination toward life science and maybe if you have the same scenario as me, then I would suggest you to take up both biology and mathematics along with uh, physics and chemistry because if you want to take up your um, you know, medical science exam, then mathematics will help you a lot. So I'm going to make another video for this. So if you're interested, tune in for that. Um, but at this point of time, for uh, coming back to your question that is uh, is biology physics chemistry sufficient to take a btech uh, biotechnology course yes definitely and also it won't matter much later on if if you are very much focused on the molecular aspects or if you're very much interested in the molecular um, or cell biology based research then um, taking up mathematics will not um, affect it much but definitely it really helps so you have to decide for yourself what your interest is i always keep on saying this to uh, everybody is that there are so many options out there that you can decide for uh, but you need to first look into yourself to decide what you want and then uh, you know choose the course accordingly so that's it for today's video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you like my channel subscribe to it um, if you know any 10th grader who is uh, you know about to choose their subjects and they are studying in india then you can uh, direct them to this video because this might be beneficial for them because it's a crucial point in our lives when we have to decide for which subjects we need to take up and sometimes we don't know whom to ask and um, it's it's a time point in your life when you're not sure about what you want to do later on and you want to still keep your options open so well i would just end this video here um all the best for your applications or whatever it is 
and let me know if you have any questions write them down in the comment section below I'll try to answer them and I hope I gave you an answer for this one so see you later and tune in for the other video if you're interested in medical sciences and how taking up uh, biology physics chemistry and mathematics might help you for your medical entrance exam I will make another video on that because I did give my medical entrance exam and I cleared it as well but at that point of time it was just uh, that I was more interested in biotechnology and more interested in research so I chose that so I'll see you in another video and bye for now.